How does your digestive system work? Your digestive system is a long tube that goes from the back of your mouth to your bottom. A major function is to break down the food that you eat so all the nutritional goodness can be absorbed into your bloodstream and the rest is passed out of your body as waste in the form of wee and poo. Your muscles or nerves work together to move the food through your digestive system by causing squeezing in a set pattern. This is called peristalsis. The squeezing pattern starts as soon as you start thinking about swallowing food and carries on until you pass out a poo. Chemical reactions are part of the digestive process too. Acid in your stomach starts to break down the food you eat into a mush that can pass into your small intestine. The mush is mixed with other substances like enzymes which cause or speed up a chemical reaction. This helps nutrients to pass through the walls of your small intestine into the bloodstream. Whatever is left over from the food that you eat travels from the small intestine to the large intestine. This is where water is absorbed by the body and friendly bacteria in your body help release vitamins. The drier, more solid substance then travels to your rectum where it passes out of your bottom as poo. Your digestive system involves your brain too. Messages travel to and from your brain to all parts of your digestive system. These messages can signal when you feel full, give you loose poo if you're feeling nervous, or give you bellyache if you haven't been able to do a poo. How do I keep my digestive system and gut healthy? How often people go to the toilet varies. It can depend on what you eat and how much you drink. Children should have a poo at least four times a week and ideally every day. Fluids are very important in keeping healthy. So you should drink plenty of liquids throughout the day. It's better to drink small amounts of fluid frequently rather than lots in one go when you're thirsty. Some drinks are better for the bowels than others. Try to avoid fizzy, sugary drinks and stick to water or very weak squash or diluted fruit juice. Eating a good and balanced diet is essential to keep strong and healthy. Eating more fruits and vegetables is always a good idea, but focusing on a variety of different colors of food, sometimes called eating the rainbow, will increase the amount of different nutrients and fiber in your diet. I also recommend to all children I see to be active. Being active helps the bowels to stay active as well. Children and young people should try to exercise at least one hour a day. If you get hot and bothered, remember to drink plenty of fluid to replace what you lose through sweating. What are the different types of poo? There are different types of poo and doctors use the Bristol stool chart to understand what type of poo you might be having. Type 4 is probably the poo you will usually have. Type 1, 2 and 3 poo suggests you might have hard poo and this might mean that you're not drinking enough, need more fibre in your diet or could be constipated. If your poo is watery and loose and looks like type 7, this is called diarrhoea and can be a sign that your digestive system isn't as healthy as it should be. What is diarrhoea? Diarrhoea is runny or liquid poo that looks like type 7 on the poo chart. Sometimes you might just have this type of poo once and that generally isn't anything to worry about. If you have frequent diarrhoea, it is important that you drink lots of fluid so that you don't get dehydrated. And you should get medical advice if this continues more than 48 hours or if you feel unwell. What causes diarrhoea? There are lots of reasons you might get diarrhoea, including eating certain types of food, infections, some types of food allergies, reactions to medicines, and some diseases of the digestive tract. That might mean you need to visit a hospital and meet a doctor like me. What should I do when I or my child has diarrhoea? If you have diarrhoea, drinking fluids can help to make sure you don't get dehydrated. It's a good idea to avoid juice or fizzy drinks as they can make diarrhoea worse. There are some types of drinks which can help to replace some of the things your body loses when you have diarrhoea, such as salt, potassium and other electrolytes. These are called oral rehydration salts and you can get advice from your local pharmacy about whether you need them. Try to eat when you feel able to. You do not need to eat or avoid any specific foods. Ideally, you should stay home from school or work until you have not had diarrhoea for at least two days. When you have diarrhoea, it's important to wash your hands often with soap and water and make sure that toilets, taps and door handles are cleaned regularly. 
This is to prevent the spread of further infection. How long does diarrhoea last? In adults and children, diarrhoea usually stops within five to seven days. You should get medical advice if you're worried about a baby less than a year old. You should also seek medical advice if there are signs of dehydration, including difficulty keeping fluid down or bloody diarrhoea or bleeding from the bottom.